play in a black army the anarchy russia right away i noticed uh, kind of a big spelling mistake uh, not really spelling more like grammar or verbiage the pieces were set no uh, my mind keeps correcting let me just read it as it's spelled the pieces were sit and place and with a final act of rebellion isn't it supposed to to be the pieces were set in place mod i've like i honestly have like 300 hours in it at this point i've managed to avoid playing this this territory i've not played it i've unified russia almost as everybody all almost you know but i've never played this and honestly it's because of stuff like the economy like let's take a look at the economy here okay the economy does not play like a normal economy. I've only like basically just barely looked at the stuff, but right away you can see that the credit rating is disabled. It's totally gone. But we still have an economy of sorts. It's, it's not like Bur uh, Burgundy where you literally shoot the economy screen. So this is what gives us our debt ceiling, 90%. Our little patch of land is one of the few places on this drought, dawn trodden earth where the ideals of anarchism can thrive. Yeah, missile crisis always ends because a nuclear war in this game just basically ends the game. So it would be pretty funny if the missile crisis did go through and you just started the game and it ends like right away. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna pause it? No, no, no. We're gonna leave it up for like a second. Like one or two seconds. You just click it and pause. If you want to watch it. If you want to read it. You, the viewer. Because I'm gonna read everything. So, I might mention it, I might not. You don't need to, though. But a lot of TNO is just reading. So, you know, I noticed, I noticed like little mistakes in, in reading. In, in writing, I mean. Honestly, they did a great job of summarizing it in the title here. Convene the Grand General. Convene the General Assembly. We're gonna call up the peeps. Uh, that one we didn't really need, need to read, editor. Okay, assassin strike at Hitler. Oh gee, I wonder who it could be. Spoiler alert, the assassin was hired by none other than Hibbler himself. Himmler. Himmler him Himmler himself. Himmler himself. That's like that's the guy who wins like every single game, basically. Sometimes you see an OFSA, but it's like 70% of the time it's him, I think. Yeah, basically, we have an army, we have a military, even though that has a command structure, which is not very anarchaic, you know? It's a command structure. It's the opposite of anarchy. They're like, well, we kind of need to have a military because, you know, and look at the world. It's not really friendly to anarchists, so. All the homeboys that defend anarchy come together. All right, the Third Congress of Kansk. I have no idea if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. And that goes for basically anything in this game that's not American. I'm not gonna even say like English countries <laughs> or anything in the Commonwealth. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go that far. Just anything American, I, I think I'll be okay. Anything further than our shores is a risk. Oh. Wholesome moment. Uh, we're free, everybody. We got our freedom. Very rare in this in this game. Not really. That would that would be this guy who's literally you know there's Stalin right there. I Many Stalin, but I, I mean like you know just like NKVD style shit. Uh, Tomsk is pretty free though. I mean right next to us could be worse. I'm thinking of Amur. I'm thinking of fucking yeah. Yeah, there are worse places to be, for sure. President, oh no, present elected officer candidates. Okay, let me read this. Oh god, what happened? Here, just show me scrolling for the two seconds, instead of pausing it to show this. Okay, see this is interesting. So this one is basically, it's, it's, it's explaining our military a little bit more. It's saying that they're democratically elected by the troops, so officers are elected by those beneath them. And that is similar to, uh, I'm gonna say, the People's Revolutionary Council, right? It's, it's like, yeah, it's similar to Servadols. Sverdolovsk. It's similar to Sverdolovsk. Yeah, so it's similar to that, where it's like military is democratic to an extent, I think. 
Uh, so nepotism is what this is telling me. Nepotism. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sum, sum up this. Nepotism. Yeah. So this one again, the title summarizes it. We're gonna look over some security reports at the at this Congress that we got going on in Kansk. I'm probably mispronouncing it every single time I'm saying it, but in a different way. Why why can't I have an easier capital like here? Tzil. <laughs> oh oh yeah, this is the reporter dude. Is just an American passing through? Give him free reign, boy. Do what you want. See our land, their true freedom. The Chad freedom. No, no guides, no, no masters. Oh, here it is. Here, here's his report on this. This guy's like, what the hell is this? Me no understand. Wait, my, my summary for the last one is just this. Basically, so this guy is like, what the fuck? The reporter comes through and he's like, what the fuck is this? These people are crazy. And this one, deep within the halls of the Germans. Damn. So this one's pretty cool. This one's like effective government. You listen to people who give a shit, basically. You go to complain, people give a shit, they try to help you out as soon as possible. There is no fucking wild ass mechanical, you know, labyrinthian Byzantine maze. You go in, they're like, what's up, dude? Oh shit, your village is gonna starve. Here's some food. Next, next. You're not going through some fucking six month waiting list or, you know. Next one. Present local developmental results. So it's like, hey, that, <coughs> that one is like, hey, we just, even though we're anarchists, we can still develop areas. We can still help out. We can help grow. We can help build. Okay. This one's pretty funny. Everybody's like, oh, fuck. The big nerd, the, the economy nerd is coming through. Oh, we're gonna have to listen to a fucking big ass speech. And he's like, gentlemen, green line, go up. Stonks. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Motion passed. This is uh, for electricity. Nice. Even more, f more factories are online. Now we can actually start making stuff. And even... Uh, oh shit, I don't think we actually can. And we have zero frickin' manpower! So these are... These are the only troops we got! Let's see our logistics. Not good, I can't even train anything, okay. What are we gonna have to do? Alright, cool, let's make us... Let's make ourselves an AK-47. After all, Kalashnikov was one of the greatest Russians to ever live! I think he was Russian. Oh, jeez, I, I hope he was, you know. Uh, okay, <laughs> this guy's like, I hope that's water in your flask. <laughs> Dude, just drinking dr straight up vodka at a high command meeting. <laughs> so, you know, maybe the benefit of anarchism. <laughs> just get sloshed. What the fuck you want? There are no rules. <laughs> this is anarchy, baby. <laughs> it's right, all right? I just drink... I just like to drink it from a flask. Is there a flask? Is there a Sprite flask out there? Oh my god, Brazil wins the World Cup. You know I played Brazil, and what's hilarious is they win the World Cup every single time. As, as many alternative universes. I don't even know if they won it in like real life. Do they win it, editor? Can you, can you put that up? I got you, homie! Okay, uh, so yeah, but in the game, it gives them a 2% stability, and I always found that hilarious, because their pension policy in the game, at this point, gives them like 3% stability or something like that. So pensions, <laughs> if pensions give 3% stability and winning the World Cup gives 2%, that's insane, man. <laughs> like, so much of your state is dependent on the World Cup in the, in the game. Like, the, the boost of stability is pretty sizable. Like, let's see here. Pensions. Our pensions, 1.4%. And what is our pension policy? Acceptable pensions. Like, good pensions give 1.7%. So good pensions, like, dude, fuck pensions. I could have, I could be 60 and have no retirement plan. But if my country wins the World Cup, I will instantly forget that. I'll just be like, this fucking boost, this feel-good moment is just, this is what I'm gonna be living on, you know? I don't care. I just, like, no notice some of our laws. There Are they, like, they're not even, like, available to other countries. Educational deferment, opt-out, even, ge there are generous exemptions, and then there's completely draft exceptions. Like, you don't even need to fucking, like, don't even worry about it, dude. But it, it's, it's less... It's le less hurt 
it, it doesn't affect our recruitable population factor as much as generous exceptions. Which is strange. strange. You would think the opposite would be true, since most people would most people would say I don't want to join the army like that I would think it's more like 20% unless of course you know it's like troubling times and all this stuff which it definitely is in the situation so I'll, I'll forgive it here I'll forgive it here for sure but still we're gonna do a survey y'all how do you do a survey in anarchy simple you just say hey communities can you survey yourselves and come back to us and let us know? Thanks. There's no way there's taxation, right? Wait, I'll, I'll read this in a second, but let me see if there's taxation. <laughs> what? What? Wait a second. What the f- What is this? Not only is there tax, but there, like, okay, if there was- if, if there was gonna be a tax, I think it would be business tax. I think would be pushing it. If if, if there if you could even allow a tax in an anarchy, business tax would be pushing it. But income tax, income, income tax? tax. How are you gonna enforce this? You're you're just what is this? There's no fucking way you can have income tax. At least not in the start of the game. You have to. Okay, you're living in total anarchy. You're asking the people to survey themselves. They're gonna say, I have nothing. Uh, you're, you're, you're trying to tax me. And you're asking me to, you know, you're asking me to basically, it's a tax report, you know. What are my assets? There's so much shit that's in this country that's probably hidden, you know. Everybody's just like, yeah, this village has a population of, of 10,000 people. We need this much grain and we don't make any money. In reality, it's like a thousand people taking all the grain, selling it in the black market, which, is there a black market? Wouldn't the black market just be the market? Wouldn't it be the Siberian black market? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Why is there income tax? Excess revenue. Okay, whatever that means, whatever. Dude, I'm gonna be giving tax cuts all game. <laughs> Cause this is fucking ridiculous. How do we have taxes? I'm not against taxes, by the way. Like, I understand why a, a country, most countries need taxes, but we're literally living in anarchism. How do you tax anarchy? And in the beginning of the game, your revenue should be like nothing. Until you go down a focus tree that gives you taxes. That should be a major thing. It just wins. Dude, they literally win every single time. And it's so funny because it's so easy to win playing Buryat, but this guy wins all the time which is to be fair like more realistic in real life like the revolutionaries the the not really revolutionaries they're more like uh, you know the people who are the most idealistic are usually the people who don't win it's people like you go to like the cruel people that usually end up on town okay where to allocate let's read this one in the wake of the collapse of the soviet union siberia became what most would call anarchy up here Opportuni opportunistic generals, idealistic democrats, and kings alike carved out their own states without regulation. The situation in Siberia slipped out of the hands of any one man or body and most used this time as an opportunity to iron out any grudges. We have our own quarrels to as well till the south lies people's revolutionary council a warlord clique of former soviets it's no secret that the militaristic soviets have wronged us before now it's time to settle the differences for good are they uh, independent it seems so they have a non-aggression with the american state in the philippines that would have been good news if i was like if i had the common turn gonna invite them and the vietnamese one and the one that the the Arab communist one? Oh shit. Invasion. It's go time, baby. Operation Tango Foxtrot Delta. Okay, this is like, let's reverse engineer all the German, American, Japanese tanks we have, and it will help us make our own tanks. We create a, uh, our own little tank through the focus tree, which is cool. I really like those. It really makes it feel like unique, you know, like, a tank, like, oh, this is the type of tanks anarchist ref anarchists reverse engineering you know captured technology would make it's like that's really cool it's really in sight i don't know it's interesting is it not alternate history tank design all right 
German Civil War kicked off. 99% of the time it's Borman. Usually when the fucking, when Schmittler says the fucking, uh, he has an heir, and it's Borman, usually Borman wins, but we'll see, let's see how it goes. E I've s even with uh, the endorsement, I've seen it lose, so. But I really hope it's not Borman. Borman makes these games so fucking boring, and since you can't really interact with the outside world too much, uh, you know, it's seeing crazy shit happens really entertaining, so hopefully it's not Borman. Borman's like anti-fun. Oh, and there, dude, you want to see how fast this shit goes? Look how, like, uh, this invasion, you know, my own gameplay, whatever. Look at this. They just declared war. All right, you'd, you'd think the French would be preparing for this, but honestly, this is understandable. All right, battle tank, uh, main battle tank, you know, just gives you a bonus to, like, we're going to look through, we're going to look through it, we're going to, you know, just, like, whatever, just know. Our war is not looking too good. Civil, like I said, English Civil War. Uh, there goes their capital. Uh, capital just got moved to Bordeaux, and boom, the war's over. <laughs> Dude, that was literally like ten days, like not even. That was quick. That was that was fast. It's a lot faster than this fucking war. But to be fair, I mean we're literally invading Mongolia and Tanatuva and shit, so it is to be expected. This is not the easiest of terrain. I think, as you can see, Mongolia is like f usually flat, like desert plains or whatever, but. Uh, the tent tube ones up here fucking just what the hell are just chock full of uh oh would you look at that we get more choices increase local cooperation revolutionary security administration oh we get infantry equipment but honestly we don't need it oh come on i have both of your capitals bro end it end the war the war is over quickly we have to unify before nose for it comes freaking a knocking yes we did it we did it Woo! quickly Back to the border. And we de -bolshevin de bolshevize the Soviets. Change in popularity, manpower decrease. Well, I don't have any fucking manpower, so go ahead. I could either declare. I can't declare war on this and leave the opportunity up to getting invaded by this guy. So I'm gonna invade this guy. Once my biggest competitor is out, then I can comfortably take out the little guy. <sighs> and let us integrate these two states that we just got. Uh, Western Mongolia takes a very long time to integrate, so I, got, I went ahead and did two of the first. Now it just needs the normal amount of time any other Russian state does. For common moron, how did Misha allow himself to get roped into this? Ironic that he would be visiting moron. He had to be if this is what his new life was. Okay, I'll, I'll read this last bit because it's like summarizing. He goes to, the, uh, to Mongolia and he sees all the shit that's happening and he's trying to convince the people to integrate to be anarchists and he's like you know i had the speech i'm not gonna really read it uh you gotta kind of experience anarchy on your own uh i can't really tell you what the fuck it is so yeah again good writing great writing i'm really enjoying it. bad for a reformed conscript okay so i actually didn't even read this i should have read this 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 gets an event for peaceful integration but i'm pretty sure if they refuse I'm gonna have to invade, so I might as well just go ahead and preoccupy. Democratic's coup in Paraguay. Interesting. Interesting. Usually Paraguay, I think, goes into a... Uh... What? This is interesting. The... The independent... The independent faction of the English Civil War. Won, uh, the Civil War. They've unified it. And let's take a look at Germany. Yeah, would you look at that? Borman looks to be in a pretty good spot he's got his puppet up and running goring eh. goring looks kind of weak i don't know hi hydric pretty weak goring goring looks massive Ugh, boring well goring would be kind of interesting maybe maybe goring could pull it up how shall we extolt thee who are born of thee wider still and wider shall thy bounds be set god who made thee mighty, make thee mightier still. God, that is fucking badass, dude. That is fucking badass. I, 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 I read these when I've like, I haven't seen them too much and I haven't seen this too much, so I'll actually read this. They won, that's basically what I said, they won. Uh, provincial government, they're gonna set up a democracy right away in the oh, 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 OF, F, OFN sphere. Uh, what I love about this is you can go to economic, economic sphere mode and you can see who's on, who's economic sphere. Whoa, what? I Ireland's not in the, uh, the, I the, 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 the,
a whales is? The Goborum. Who the fuck is in the Goborum? What? The the Welsh have a civil the Welsh have a tree? Bro, I would have played this long ago. Dude, I'm definitely playing the Welsh next. I don't know if I'm gonna film it, but that is great. I'm definitely I did not this does not show up as one of the interesting states. Probably because uh, you, you know, you, you get integrated pretty quick. Huh, that's not an OFN either, but oh, oh, OFN is making, oh shit, Madagascar is an OFN? Oh fuck, but it doesn't look like they might be able to hang on to it any longer. Wow, has, has Iberia helped them? Let's take a look, because I know they have the option too. Oh, they got, they got the German, what are they doing? <laughs> They're like, they have the option to support Spear, but I can see that they have not gone that way. <laughs> They're just fucking selling the old sides. Uh, oh yeah, here they go. Yeah, they have not. They have not completed the South Africa tree, which grants a pretty big bonus. When I play Iberia, I usually do it and I help. I help them win. It's pretty fun actually. Uh, I might. I might return Iberia one day. Akaban. Oh my God. Isn't this an Harry Potter? Well, it's fucking mine now. <laughs> Use the railroads. Go 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 go. Operation Foxtrot. Oh God, no. No, get over there! Ah, oh, shit! I only have four troops now. Oh no, two of them are about to fucking die. <laughs> Reconnected that front, but the, dude, uh, there's so many fucking troops. Editor, editor, don't show, don't show this, don't show this, editor. Yeah, because I'm cheating here. Hey, fuck you, man! Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it. Their their whole army just fucking disappeared. It's almost as if I I tag switched over and deleted their whole army. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm not that type of guy. I mean, you know me. I mean, you know me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, they will remilitarize quite quickly if I don't take. The opportunity to end this is when I can. God, run, run, just go, just go to the fucking deepest pits. Establish, spread, spread, run. Dude, we don't even have like a big enough army to fucking just garrison the field. But luckily, we're getting more units. And let's take a look at logistics here. We still got enough guns and supplies and everything. So, yeah, let's just crank up military production here. And after this war, I think we're going to uh, do some cutbacks on the military. This music is fucking kick-ass, by the way. I got I to gotta shout out uh, Waltz, uh, Last Waltz of Europe or something like that. It's, it's, uh, I'll look it up. Uh, my editor will put it up right here. Great music. And we got it. We got them back. Those fuckers. You ain't going to... I know, like, I'm like... I was talking about true anarchy, and the shit I just did just went against that, <laughs> you know. But it, it just ain't happening, dude. I ain't let him go. Fuck that. Bauer begets parasites. Izoff had served in the Black Army for seven years. He had defended the villages around Kansk from bandit attacks, fought in the battles at Konoskov and Kermevo, and when he was elected as an officer, he accepted his new position gratefully. So when his new division was given orders to recapture Nosvrik, he followed them. Oh, this is this is about uh, getting Nosvrik. Yet the battle he fought at Nosvrik felt different. Though he had never doubted the ideals of the Black Army, he had still felt somehow that he had he was on the wrong side. Is this freedom hit to our stability again? That's fucking great. More de de despotism, which is fucking. Ugh, it had to be done, bro. It had to be done. If Mother Anarchy is to survive, we must be united. We cannot, a house against, a house cannot, a house divided against itself must, cannot, cannot stand. Now that we have actual fucking manpower, we can do some stuff. We can encourage returning, do this, poverty relief program, all the, all this good stuff. Military austerity. Go ahead and cut back on military spending, administrative spending, social spending, science spending. We're gonna all bring these in line. <clears throat> We're gonna. We have to change our economic policies now that we are, you know, a proper state. Emotions passed. I don't even fucking remember what what there are by, by the time they pass. It takes so long. Commune requests funding. They want money for our votes, but increases GDP. So they want supplies. Support equipment. Yeah, and increases GDP. I, I like them because if you you give them what they want, that it actually does good. You know, you're actually investing in the states. Eh, okay, fine. It doesn't really do anything. It just changes the popularity of all these a little bit. You want weapons? You gonna you gonna get weapons? 
You want supplies? You got the supplies. We're gonna get this shit show fucking passed. Autonomy? Go ahead, buddy. Wanna talk? Hey, let's talk, baby, let's talk. That just costs me political. I'm just taking this chance to just buff all these states that they get with the concessions. Poverty's going down. Oh, a lot of green arrows. Numbers go up. I mean, poverty rate goes down. Other numbers go up. Things like literacy. So I can read this better. To unite anarchy. Mikael sat back in his chair, tired after a long day of reading Ripple Or. Okay, hold up. Let me read this. So this is like, do we do martial law or do we fully integrate them, build them from the ground up? All this stuff. So we're going to go integration, which is on the left, instead of martial law. Wait, right? Oh, wait. I think that's the opposite this time. Yeah. Yeah, it is the opposite. On the right, it's the more liberal one. Socialism instead of de uh, de de despotism. I'm going to say Etrusk is going to unify the East. That's going to be my call. What the fuck? Oh, Muscovin has just exploded. Oh, my God. Goring's gun and done it. And Hydric's still alive. Goring's gone and done it. Well, shit, we might have an interesting game, especially with with the f with the free fucking dudes over here. Very interesting. Very very interesting. Does whale is whale still working on its? Uh, oh, it is. It is. It is. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Just basically, the the Congress begins. Let's get it started. Uh, let's look at our GDP per capita now that we have. A good amount okay first let's look at it through the nation oh we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good compared to our neighbors even when added up here to about six eh, we're still ahead of them by a little bit and there's nobody who's unified this yet but we're doing all right we're doing all right so now we can look at our states the GDP of our states let's take a look Western Mongolia why is it so high that's interesting Cause it's such a not populated state. 225,000 people, you compare that to a state like this, like Nosverick, our most populated state. Three million, GDP 1.4. Is it coming from the resources? Oh my god, <laughs> that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah. Tanatuba, just a shit ton of resources. But that is interesting. Tanatuba in Western Mongolia. It's probably also the infrastructure, right? It's probably gonna, no, no, not really. That is a pickle. Maybe it's maybe through my choices as well. Whoa, hello. That decision I think to, to mine went through? Oh my goodness. GDP? Oh, oh my god, I'm such a fucking idiot. GDP per capita, <clears throat> not just flat GDP. I thought I was looking at flat GDP, but that makes way, way more sense. I am a friggin' idiot. Yeah, no shit, cause like, <laughs> barely anybody lives out here. So, oh my god, somebody out here is making $1,755 a year? That's, that's what they make? Uh, the, na the national average is $77. <laughs> uh, no, $778, so d d a lot more. But that's because, all right, makes sense, makes sense, basically. Somebody talking about the administration, stability hit, put it under the army. Gonna take the stability hit every time. The people will decide their fate. Honors for humanity. Let me read this. This one's like basically decrease the influence of the church and anything that we took from them in the war, we're just gonna keep because we need their cash, baby. It's fucking anarchy. Waiting for uh, Goring to do something. Waiting for America to do something. Waiting for Japan to do something. Free Indonesia. Oh, they have their own fucking tree. Would you look at that? I think I played it Indonesia once and only for the, in the beginning and just barely. Uh, but I might go into them in the future. <laughs> do we take the stuff or do we give it back? Uh, let's give it back when it only costs PP and uh, increases uh, the, our religious rights. You shouldn't just ban religion. People should just do what they want as long as they're not hurting any, anybody. There's an argument to be made about taxing religious institutions and I'm totally down for that. I'm down to listen to arguments. I don't know if my mind's made up one way or the other. But banning religion is something. The fuck? It's like, so, is, isn't that what the Soviets did? I think. I know they fucked up the church pretty bad. The Orthodox Church. Though it's like revived after the fall. So this is like, we ended the meeting, yay, we did it, everybody got along and everything went swell, let's go. Basically ends the meeting, removes the current administrative strain, which was the uh, overextended administra uh, administration. 
Mux, economy, military, and foreign focus trees. Uh, okay, all the other ones. Yeah, we can go the other paths now. And moves capital to the biggest city, Nosberic. And, oh, our mini gets the freedom. I don't know how this war works, but I think all they have to do is not lose these bits of land in like three months or something, and they just win it. Not even three months, it's like nothing. Because they usually get their freedom. Because if they had to fucking capitulate, that would be fucking brutal. They would never... And, and unrealistic. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, so if we send more people up, that will bring down the GDP per capita, surely. I will be looking forward to see if it works. Okay, yay, we can have other trees. I, if, if there's a, a military tree that, that creates a new unit, I will take it. Because I don't want to create my own. Up. I know you kind of have to, but I like it when they create it for me. So I can have a template and just add shit on. No, wait, let me, let me read this. Not what, from what I can see, I don't think so. Policy of liberation. We establish a global intelligence service. This one gives a boost to socialism. Oh, they both create an intelligence AG. A defensive global. Oh, fuck, wait, I forgot the AC was on the whole time. I'm sorry, I don't know. Hopefully it's not too much of a deal. Even even if you can hear the AC in the background, I, I'm all right. It's all right. It's fine. Russia is a harsh mistress. That's that's a reference to the moon is a harsh mistress, I think. It has to be. Nobody uses that verbiage. I see you. I see you Heinlein readers out there. Let's go protection. <clears throat> it's the liberal path. Or the sh I should say the more socialist path. The other path gives despotism. Dip, dip, boom. Influence. There goes big South Africa. Tr this is like... Truly the South of Africa. Same old from the same schmold. Oh, there they go. That, that's that's their invasion. There's a peasant uprising. But they need one like right on the capital, not far away. <coughs> and he's done it. Zukov, the Chad of Russia. He has a great tree, by the way. I really enjoy his playthrough. I just did it on Iron Man recently. Fan fucking tastic fun. Come on, take as much land. Again, just like the uh, Mongolia situation, the more they take in this war, they can take all the way like up to here, basically. I've done it before. You can take all this shit. Um, except for this stuff. This, like Helsinki and, and above it are poor. And look at that, you go to winds. A lot of wars ended, you go to winds in the east and the south. Would you look at that, that's cool. The skull and shit, that's very cool. The South African War. <laughs> them out. It's like, yo, don't try to use your position to pick up chicks. <laughs> shoot. There's a lot of people saying it, trying to shoot themselves in this in this playthrough. It's the second time somebody has, like, basically given his life up to the audience to make a point. Everybody should, you should be so dedicated to, <laughs> to your ideals that, I mean, it's, I guess it's like so much trust in your brother, in your community, that they won't shoot you. <laughs> But I don't know, it's like truly weird, at, at the very least. Wow, damn, our military... Usually you start out with uh, widespread cro uh, cronyism, and you usually get to upgrade to political interference. Every gotten a Spartan discipline. I think that's like something for Germans, basically. Oh, no, editor, you should probably break this up into sections the first section you know the black army then the second section serbian free territory then would be the next section whatever oh my oh, i'll react to that in a second then after that whatever it's called when i reunify with the east and then whatever it's called when i reunify with that and then, and then you got you get the you get the point okay so this is pretty good this is pretty good they they got a lot out of that so we get a lot out of that and as you can see, the GDP per capita here is better than the ones here. So, you know, pretty good addition. Pretty good addition. Oh, shit. Zatlaust shatters Western Siberia? Really? I, they always seem to fucking do that, you know? Well, at least we won't be getting invaded from them. These fuckers really, really are fucking strong, man. I think, I think Zukov is strong enough to beat them, but usually states aren't. Not, not from, not from my side, but maybe, maybe, maybe you can do it, I don't know. It's up in the air. There, here we start, here we go, here we go. This is a goring, 
He's getting angry. He's gonna start doing some fucking crazy shit, going to war against the whole world, basically. Military egalitarianism. Change the socialism, the system perfected. Okay, it's like, yeah, our military's the best because we're democratic. That's, it's basically what that is. There goes Denmark. Oh, damn, and they go up, they go after Oistland right away. Ostland. OST land. It's a land where people love OSTs, like anime OSTs and game OSTs and shit. Original soundtrack! That's what it means, if you didn't know. By the way, by the by. The system perfected. Nestor. It's like a biblical name. This is an authentic 1947 Avomat Klesnikovne, or as you may know it, AK-47. Who here knew the AK stood for prior to me saying so? I don't know what was called that. Kalashnikov. I guess I kind of knew. I knew it was, you know. Oh, don't lie. No way you all knew. Okay, liars. Break down the gun. Hey, do you know why we're here? Just watch. People of Tomes, lay down your arms. Remember what we stood for. The future. These murder machines are not tools of peace. Rise now. Deny them your hand in the further envelopment of the earth into war. Puzzled stares. Jeez, ah, that guy needs some help. Uh, anyway. Oh, there goes the oist. There goes oysters. There goes the singing oysters with their OSTs. How many of you knew what OSC stood for before? <laughs> me telling you. Uh, put it in the comments. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. USA, Japanese, talk. God, if there's no war between them, then... Yeah, there's no World War Three this game. You guys gonna have to wait for me to make another video if you want to see that, I guess. Vow to push America forward in the space race. Promising massive funding increase to NASA and elaborated on America's. I know the next update will be uh, about the space race. The Glenn presidency. Well, I might have to do that. I might have to try to go Glenn in my playthrough of America when I get to it. Oh god, are we about to fucking get a revolt here? Now is not the fucking time, buddy! Begin the invasion, quickly. Maybe if we, if we are, if we busy them. They can't do anything. Oh, they make the common turn, but I'm about to stomp it out right now. And that is wartime, baby. Look at that green. Look at that red. Oh, wow. Iberian Council has been abolished. That's very cool. <laughs> what, what's the point? Why? Why do that? It's idiotic. Oh, my God. The tank. The tank unit. It's fucking pushing on through. Oh, we did it. We really fucking did it. Holy shit a moly. Let's go ahead and slam that reunification button. Integrate all these fuckers. Free dockyards. Yes, please. All this perspective. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna unlock a new focus tree about the east. Winning a game I was never playing. We have three choices here. As the Siberian War has drawn to a close, it was expected that the cessation of ho official hostilities would mean the end, end of hardship for the free territories. And a new period of integration and further unification is to survive. Surya must preserve. Surya will need to play Spitnov's game in this struggle. Anarchism dissolved forever. Will be revealed. I, I think it's gonna be the, the other guy. I kind of just bombed everything. Whoops. Jeez, I'm, I'm really not good at these like mini games things. I don't know. I really don't read them like as thoroughly, I think. Anarchist Soviet becomes a ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Stability. Interesting. We have uh, our own. Usually, the we have our unique. Mil uh, nuclear weapons thing. Because I've seen the other nuclear focus trees. It's usually the same, but this is different, so I'm excited to look at it. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. The second test. I think I'm gonna stop here. I've been getting a little tired now. This this video's it's like hours long. Let me look. Seven hours. Almost exactly seven hours I've been going and I'm still not done. I honestly thought it usually takes me seven hours to beat the whole game. And I'm close, I think. Um, and I might do Brave New World as well and, and try to take Moscow back. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, please let me know and I will do it depending on the, the response of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, alright? So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.